Billy Carter is what was known then and now as a good old boy. I'm what you might call a redneck. Well, yeah, I mean, all good old boys are rednecks, but not all rednecks are good old boys. This is all so very confusing. Okay, so I want to try and break the redneck nomenclature down for people who are not familiar with the taxonomy. In the South, you have a certain type of folks commonly referred to as rednecks. They tend to be a little on the rougher side, perhaps embracing the style and ethos that isn't what people would think of as high culture. Lots of gimme hats, t-shirts, old jeans. They like trucks. They like trucks a lot. They like cheap beer and loud country music. Some rednecks are cultural rednecks, meaning they adopt the mannerisms and style of the redneck. Others are what we think of as true rednecks. That's how they was raised. And finally, there are just some general pieces of shit who use redneckiness as a disguise for their bad behavior, substance abuse, criminality, and racism. But a good old boy who is usually a true redneck, is a redneck that is the genuine salt of the earth. The kind of person you depend on to pull your truck out of the mud in the middle of the night or spend the weekend helping you clear brush from your papa's land or drive across the state line to buy fireworks for the kids on the 4th of July. The good old boy isn't a big thinker. He won't understand a math problem, but he can tear down your engine and rebuild it better than it was before. He doesn't exactly know what a satellite does, but it'll help build a line to connect your satellite dish and pirate TV signals down in the holler. Rednecks are a dime a dozen, but a genuine good old boy is a rare fucking treasure.